Anemia in heart failure. Acute injury to the heart triggers a number of responses. Beyond the healing of the inciting injury, the other areas of the heart undergo remodeling with the intent of compensating for the effects of the injury. These changes are often maladaptive. Maladaptive consequences may lead to reduced cardiac function, which leads to poor tissue perfusion, malnutrition, and cytokine activation. A number of downstream organs may then be affected by the cytokines and impaired perfusion, including the kidneys. The effects of the cytokines on the kidneys and the bone marrow are marked by the development of anemia. Cytokines have profound effects on the kidneys. In the kidney, the erythropoietin-producing cell is sited between the peritubular capillaries and the renal tubules. Oxygen is delivered from the capillaries to the renal tubular cells. The reabsorption of sodium by the tubular cells accounts for 90% of the oxygen consumption by the kidney. The balance of the oxygen delivery and the consumption will determine the tissue oxygen tension. At a critical tissue oxygen tension, transcription of the erythropoietin gene is stimulated. With activated cytokines, the production of erythropoietin decreases and more cytokines are released to the surrounding tissue. Cytokines also have a profound effect in the bone marrow. Erythropoietin is carried to the bone marrow as part of the endocrine feedback loop of the regulation of the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood. Erythropoietin acts on pluripotent stem cells to produce red cells. Iron is taken up by the reticulocytes for the insertion in the proferrin ring to complete the formation of the red blood cells. Cytokines reduce the sensitivity of the bone marrow to the actions of erythropoietin and therefore impairs red cell formation. Cytokines also impair the uptake of iron to stem cells and reticulocytes and affect reticulocytes directly. The impaired erythropoiesis further contributes to the anemia. The reduced oxygen carrying capacity is compensated by an increased sympathetic neuronal activity. In chronic anemia, the sympathetic activation becomes maladaptive, contributing further to left ventricular dysfunction. Increasingly impaired tissue perfusion amplifies these processes. All three elements of the cardiorenal anemia syndrome progress with further amplification to states of increasingly impaired function.